The Whisper from the Stars theme, Discovery, Ah, and the science behind K218B, opening music, quiet, reflective, for generations. We looked up at the night sky with wonder in our hearts and one question etched deep into our curiosity. Are we alone in the universe? For centuries, philosophers, astronomers, and dreamers have speculated about life beyond Earth. Science offered possibilities, through probabilities, mathematical models, and distant planetary patterns, but never anything definitive. No answers, just echoes. Until now. Roughly 120 light years from Earth, in the direction of the Leo constellation, a cold red dwarf star quietly burns. It's dim, small, and seemingly unremarkable, except for what it hides in orbit, a planet named K218b. At first glance, K218b appeared to be just another entry in the growing catalog of exoplanets. But when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared eyes toward this world, everything changed. This isn't just another planet. It's strange. Unfamiliar. Yet eerily reminiscent of something we know, home. The readings shocked the scientific community. Webb detected water vapor in the planet's atmosphere, a promising clue. Then, it picked up methane and carbon dioxide, key compounds involved in carbon-based life as we know it. These were already exciting discoveries. But then came something that no one had expected. A faint but distinct signature appeared in the spectral data, dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, this compound is known to originate only from one source, life. Specifically, marine phytoplankton, microscopic organisms living in the oceans. The presence of DMS on another world? That changed everything. Suddenly, this wasn't just about possible conditions for life. It was a potential detection of life itself. And as the data poured in, yet another molecule emerged. Dimethyl disulfide, DMDS. A chemical that, like DMS, is intimately tied to biological processes on Earth, particularly those involving marine ecosystems. Two biosignatures found together. On a water-rich planet. Orbiting a star with enough warmth to support liquid oceans. This is no longer speculative. This could be our first real evidence that Earth is not alone in nurturing life. Music transitions, deeper, more mysterious, but what exactly is K218b? It belongs to a rare and poorly understood class of planets called Hycean worlds. A term that blends hydrogen and ocean. These worlds are theorized to have thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres overlaying vast, global oceans. Imagine an entire planet covered in deep, possibly warm water, shielded by clouds of gas that trap heat and protect against solar radiation. K218b is 2.6 times larger than Earth and almost 9 times more massive. Despite this size difference, its position in its star's habitable zone makes it an intriguing candidate for hosting life, not just microbial life, but complex ecosystems. The thick hydrogen layer could act like a planetary greenhouse, helping to stabilize temperatures and possibly enabling a kind of biological activity unique to this environment. Conditions here might resemble early Earth, just before life began to reshape the planet's surface and atmosphere. Scientists began to imagine what could live in such a place. Could microbial life thrive in the deep oceans, feeding off chemical nutrients or photosynthesis under a dim red sun? Could entirely new forms of life evolve, Creatures adapted to lower gravity and higher atmospheric pressure, drifting slowly in the ocean currents? We're not just looking at a possible second Earth. We're looking at what Earth may have been, billions of years ago. Soft music underscore, thoughtful. This discovery wasn't just scientific, it was emotional. For many, it felt like we were seeing ourselves through the lens of the cosmos. News agencies broke the story worldwide. Social media erupted with hashtags. Hash K218B, hashtag Alien Ocean, hashtag We Are Not Alone. It was no longer about politics or celebrity gossip. It was about a planet 120 light years away, and what might be swimming in its oceans. Classrooms filled with questions. University boards convened emergency symposiums. Private space companies ramped up mission planning behind closed doors. 
iMessage capsules, laser-propelled solar sails, and theoretical interstellar probes. Once fringe ideas, were now urgent discussions. K218B had done what few things in recent history could do. It united us. As the world held its breath, one thought echoed across continents. If we're not alone, what else is out there? And if we've truly heard the first cosmic whisper from life beyond Earth, then this isn't just science anymore. The Great Silence theme, contact, cosmic responsibility, and who we are, opening music, thoughtful and reflective, the discovery of biosignatures on K218b stunned the world. For the first time, we aren't just imagining alien life, we may be detecting it. But with this revelation comes a profound question. What do we do now? If life exists there, do we try to reach out? Or should we stay silent? Music builds, tense, cautious, experts are divided. Physicist Mark Buchanan warns of the risks. We don't know what forms life on K218b takes. It could be fragile or intelligent. Sending messages might disrupt or provoke unknown consequences. Others, like Avi Loeb, argue that advanced civilizations would already know we're here. Our radio waves have traveled through space for decades, our presence is no secret. But any reply would take at least 240 years to travel between worlds. The question isn't just can we send a message, but should we, knowing the weight, the unknown, and the stakes? Shift, global and societal impact, governments, religious leaders, and scientists worldwide are grappling with the implications. Psychologists warn of cosmic trauma, the emotional upheaval that could come with realizing we're not unique. If life is out there, Earth is no longer special. We're part of a vast, living universe. Music softens, reflective. The age-old Fermi paradox returns. If life is common, why haven't we heard from anyone? Maybe intelligent civilizations are rare or self-destructive. Maybe life chooses silence. If K218b hosts life, perhaps the cosmic silence is deliberate, a message in itself. Music shifts, curious and intriguing, K218b's hydrogen-rich atmosphere challenges what we know about life's chemistry. Could alien organisms breathe hydrogen? Could photosynthesis work under a red dwarf's light? Earth's extremophiles, organisms thriving in harsh, seemingly unlivable conditions, offer clues. What once seemed strange might be the key to recognizing alien biology. And what if signs of alien life have been right under our noses, hidden in subtle anomalies or meteorites? Closing, emotional and expansive, before K218b, we look to the stars with curiosity. Now, with responsibility. If life exists beyond Earth, we are part of a greater story. Not the whole story. Just one chapter. For centuries, we believed we were alone, tiny sparks in the cosmic dark. Now the universe whispers back. Not with certainty. Not with loud signals. But with possibility. Final words, quiet, powerful, the question is no longer, are we alone? It is. What will we become, knowing we might not be? If life is out there, it's not a threat, it's a mirror. A reflection of what we might one day be. So, what do you think? Have we just witnessed life beyond Earth? Or is this just the beginning of something far greater? Leave your thoughts below. Subscribe for more cosmic insights. And remember, sometimes the universe doesn't shout. Some